Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we will learn how to run our test script in multiple browsers like Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer and Opera. So we have this basic script which we learned few uh, weeks ago. So here we are using this erail.in and we are printing some of the train numbers using this map function. And after all, we have this browser.quit. So it's going to execute and close the browser. And I'm using this protected.conf.js. So that is uh, used like when we click on this run test here. So it's going to trigger this configuration file and based on that, it's going to execute. So by default, protector can run our test script in Firefox and Chrome. Here you can see that I didn't specify any of the browser name, but still I will be able to run my test in the Chrome. So let us see that. So I'm just going to click on this run test and basically it's going to open up my terminal and then it is going to fire up my Chrome browser. So we got the Chrome browser and it's going to run the test script. And we got the some output and browser is also closed, right? So this we already have checked the script in our previous video. So if you are not able to understand what this script is about, probably you can check my previous video. Now let me close this and if I go to my protector.conf.js without any additional setup I can run my test script in the Firefox as well. So here I have to say capabilities and colon and within the object we have to specify the browser name and these are keywords make sure that you are going to type as you see on the screen. So here I will say Firefox if I go back to my script and if I click on this run test, now we can see that our script is going to execute in the Firefox browser. Yes, so here we can see the Firefox UI has appeared. So of course we can understand that. Now let us also understand how this internally works. So basically we are using this uh, keyword here called direct connect. So if I go back to my conf.js, here we can see that we are using this direct connect true. That means in our first video in the installation video you might have seen that we have used this command called web driver hyphen manager space update right that means it is going to download the chrome and the firefox binaries by default and with the help of direct connect we can run our test script without the help of selenium grid concept but to execute our script in other browsers like the internet explorer or the opera or the microsoft edge or even the chromium edge version of course we need the selenium grid here so i'm just going to pull up this folder and here we can see i have already set up the hub and node i believe that you already know the selenium grid concept if not uh, do not worry about it i will just give you the basic idea maybe in some another video i will tell this whole thing in detail okay so the basic fundamentals of selenium grid is we have a hub which is going to act as a server and we have this node which is going to act as your client browsers. Now when we start any of the node it is going to get registered in the hub. Now hub is like your actual capabilities where it will hold some of the browser's name, operating system and other metadata which we are going to pass in our node. Node is basically it's a like your browser name so let me show you one example so if I go to this chrome node and if I click on this edit, so basically I have converted the text file into a bat file so that you can just double click on it and it's going to execute in the command prompt. So here we have this java hyphen jar. So we are going to use this command to trigger the selenium standalone file and we are setting a role as wd that means web driver which is again like node. And here we are saying that our hub address so hyphen hub and then followed by the address. Now this address will be uh, by default selenium runs on this port number 4444 and local host means it's going to take my IP address. So if I go back to this hub here you can see that uh, java hyphen jar then followed by the selenium standalone file name and here we are setting the hyphen role is going to be this file is going to act as a hub. Now if I double click on this since it's a bat file it's going to trigger up my command prompt and it's going to run. And here you can see that client should connect to this particular address and this is nothing but my local IP address. So I can use the local host as well. Now if I go to my browser and if I go to local host colon 4444 
and here you can see that this is the hub uh, default page and if you go to this console this is the dashboard of the console where we can see like what are the browsers has registered in this particular grid now i'm just going to trigger the chrome node here and make sure that whenever we have this uh, node any of the node the correspondent driver file should be there for example when i trigger the chrome node it should take the chrome driver within this folder so make sure that we are passing the driver file and the bat file in the same folder of course it can be in different folder as well but you have to write another comment for that so let's make it very simple so i'm just keeping the node file and the exe driver exe file within the same folder now i'm going to click on this so it's going to connect to my hub now here you can see that the node is registered to the hub and ready to use now if i go back to my local host and if i refresh here you can see that we are able to get the driver chrome driver here now there are multiple commands available where you can set like how many browsers you want like the maximum instance or the maximum session so these are all basically grid configuration i will leave a link in the description where you can read the documentation and i think that will be very self explanatory so i believe you will get that okay all else do let me know in the comments so that i can make a separate video on the whole grid concept then we are also going to trigger the uh, uh, maybe opera and the internet explorer and here i can just trigger my internet explorer let me show you the bat file as well so here nothing but the same command so java hyphen jar then followed by the file name and everything is same the only difference is here hyphen browser and here we have to say browser name is opera so we are going to create a opera node so we have to specify the opera node here right and similarly for internet explorer we have to give this browser name equal to internet explorer right so i have opened and executed all my node file now if i go back to my grid and if i just refresh this here you can see we have this opera and we have this internet explorer similarly you can connect the firefox as well now if i go back to my script here i have to do some changes so instead of browser name firefox we are going to set it as opera now if i go back to my script and if i try to click on this run test now you can see that our test script is going to execute in the opera browser we got some exception let us understand what is this so here you can see that if i maximize this let me clear it up and uh, try to execute again so i can show you the exception more clear and here you can see that it says that error browser name opera is not a supported with direct connect that means we are using this direct connect which can by default take the chrome and the firefox but not the opera internet explorer or any other driver so i'm just going to comment this and here we will say selenium address and colon and within double quotes we have to specify the our uh, local host or the selenium address so here we will say local host and that should comes with http and here we will say local host slash slash local host then colon and the port number and then followed by wd so which is web driver and here we have to say hub so basically we are connecting our script to the hub now based on this capability so these are like decide capabilities and where those things are actual capabilities so when the actual capabilities and the decide capabilities get matched it is going to trigger that so here if i go to my script and if i click on this run test now we can expect our test to execute in the opera browser so here you can see in the console as well let me show you that so here the opera is running of course we didn't write a code to maximize so that's why it's coming in this layout or else probably it should come in the maximized okay i think the script has completed yeah so it's completed similarly let us try to run our code in the internet explorer so here i'm going to say uh, internet space explorer and if i go back to my script and click on this again now it should fire up my internet explorer and here you can see we got our old browser and it's executed i think so let us go back to this uh, script and check
okay the script got failed because of the time out issue which always happens with the internet explorer maybe we'll talk about this in a separate video how to resolve all the time outs and what are the time outs available within the protector but as of now we understood that how to run our test script in different browsers using the selenium grid concept we'll take that maybe in separate video how to run our test script is using the microsoft edge and since i have installed the edge uh, the older edge version has been disabled somehow in my system so i'm not able to find out that so of course you can try it try it yourself so you will get it you will get it the concept here is very simple so we have to learn the grid concept so once we are familiar with the selenium grid concept it is going to be very very easy now just in case if you don't know feel free to download all this file i will leave a link in the description you can download all the files and make sure that whatever the browser version you have the specific driver version should be exactly here or else of course it's going to give us error now let's quickly recap so the very basic fundamental in selenium grid is that you have to start your hub first then whatever the browser or whatever the version or whatever the operating system you want you can connect all those to the hub and this is like hub and node and then it's going to be very easy just go back to your script and here you have to use this capabilities and then you have to use this browser name and followed by what is the browser name you want to execute your script that's it pretty easy right so that's it guys from my side if you have any queries please to reach out me on the comment and i will try to execute the script in the microsoft edge maybe in some another video and also we'll uh, learn about the grid concept maybe in detail see you in the next one very soon check it